TB Mars rover team was founded in 2012 as a part of the Mars Society India. Since our inception, we have been working on various rover prototypes and this is our fifth design for URC 2017. Learning from our past experiences, we have built better and more efficient designs for this year's competition. Coming to the team, it consists of 25 members from pretty much all the departments of engineering and has been divided keeping in mind the tasks of URC. The three main subsystems of our team are the mechanical, the electrical and the bioscience. Mechanical system accounts for two major subsystems of suspension and robotic arm. These were designed keeping in mind the requirements of the problem space. The suspension being the most critical part of the rover had to be a well tested and tried mechanism of rocker body suspension. We also incorporated a novel 4 bar differential mechanism which gives the rover the ability to traverse through considerably rough terrains keeping the chassis all the while horizontal and minimizing the transfer of jerks to the chassis. We have made iterations on our previous design and around its rough design. Our arm consists of 6 degrees of freedom which includes 3 degrees of freedom of the gripper and it is designed to lift up to 5 kg of weight keeping in mind the bending and torsional loads. The gripper can hold objects up to 5 cm in diameter. Arms location and dimensions have been designed to execute all the tasks with proper maneuverability. The aim of this year's software and electrical iteration is to build a system that not only works but also is modular and easy to debug. To this end, in the software side of things, we use the robot operating system, a collection of libraries for inter-process communication that makes inter-team cooperation very easy. An example of modularity in the hardware side of things is replacing the traditional parallel motor driver control with serial control, enabling universal interfaces for all peripherals connected to this intercomputer. Hi, so we are using commercial of the shell wireless network bridges UCOS P300 to provide point to point connectivity between the rover and the base station. The modules operate on 5.6 GHz band and have a maximum EIRP of 4 watts, which make it compliant with FCC UNIA 1 regulations. The modules also feature adaptive channel selection techniques to, uh, to tolerate interference and have been tested to provide 1 km non line of sight range. We are also using Zigbee modules, which operate on 900 MHz band and uh, wireless video camera which operates on 5.8 GHz band as a backup for the whole system. Turboclaw motor drivers that we use for the closed loop steer control make it very easy to extract the wheel encoder values making position control very convenient. Drive motors are controlled in the open loop manner with traditional motor drivers. Drive and steer contribute to the major power consumption on the rover and our LiPo batteries are capable of supplying power for 60 to 90 minutes. Depending on what's published, it is possible to drive the rover in the autonomous mode or with the joystick. In the heart of autonomous control is a simultaneous localization and mapping based algorithm that fuses input from laser and inertial sensors. Global and local planners then chart the best path to the destination. This entire system has been integrated into a graphical interface along with GPS waypoints, camera feed and sensor values to monitor the rover over the course of the competition. We have also ensured that the rover can backtrack to the last position of contact with the base station in case of hardware communication. The aim of this year's science team is to design experiments that would throw some light for presence of life on Mars. For the onboard biosensor stack, in addition to the temperature and humidity sensor, we would be using two additional sensors, methane sensor and a UV radiation sensor. We feel that methane is important because it is related to important bioprocesses happening here on Mars. After considering various methods, we arrived at the suction-based mechanism. After clearing the soil up to a depth of 5 cm, we'll collect the soil sample with the help of a suction pump having an attached airtight storage container. In order to ensure the optimum strength and weight of the assembly, we manufactured it with epoxy glass fiber composite. This year, we have decided tests to detect life on Mars based on our available knowledge, the cost and the time constraints. We have decided on nitrate, carbonate and ground strain tests. Nitrate and carbonate are very important biomarkers and thus we have chosen very simple tests for them. Ground strain test is a very simple conclusive test to detect microorganisms. The team is primarily sponsored by Boeing through the aerospace department of our institute. We are also sponsored by Rukas Wireless in terms of state of the art power over ethernet communication module. We have studied the problem statement carefully and each system has been designed keeping in mind the tasks to be performed. We sure are ready to make an impact in URC 2017.